continue our discussion on light emitting diode in the previous lecture we have discussed about what is an light emitting diode how it is being constructed and how it works today we will be discussing about the vi characteristics of light emitting diode so this is what we have discussed in the last class and we have seen that the wavelength of the light emitted from the led that depends on the energy gap of the material used for constructing the led and we have also seen that the wavelength of visible light that ranges between 700 nanometer to 400 nanometer and from that we had calculated that the energy gap of the material which are suitable for emitting lights in the visible range that lies between 1.77 electron volt to 3.1 electron volt right this 1.77 electron volt this is the energy gap of the material which is used to make an led which will radiate the red light right and the energy gap of the material for an led to radiate violet light is 3.1 electron volt this eg that also decides the barrier potential of the diode and hence if eg is very high then the barrier potential will also be high that means the barrier potential of red led is less as compared to the barrier potential of violet led this concept we will be using while we will discuss about the vi characteristics of an led now coming to the vi characteristics of led we know that this led is nothing but a specially designed pn junction diode and hence to study the vi characteristics of an led the circuit diagram which we need to consider is same as the circuit diagram what we have considered for studying the vi characteristics of simple pn junction diode okay so this is the circuit diagram for studying the vi characteristics of an led here this one is the led over here this blue side this is the p side and this red one is n side okay and while discussing in semiconductor physics we have seen that a diode conducts under forward bias condition and hence this led also operates only in forward bias condition forward bias conditions means the p side of the diode should be connected to the positive terminal of the battery and n side of the diode should be connected to the negative terminal of the battery and here in this diode this is the p side and this p side is connected to the positive terminal of the applied voltage source here this is the n side and n side is connected to the negative terminal of the applied source further here this milli ammeter over here that is connected in series with the led to measure the current passing through led and this voltmeter over here that is connected in parallel to the led which measures the voltage across the led right now taking the readings from this voltmeter and this milli ammeter we will plot the vi characteristics of the given led for plotting the vi characteristics of led we will be considering the forward voltage along the x axis and the forward current along the y axis this forward voltage is in volt and the forward current is measured in terms of milli ampere okay now as the function of led is same as that of a normal pn junction diode the vi characteristic trend is also same as that of a pn junction diode thus this is the trend of vi characteristics for a given led here you can see the current is initially zero and it starts increasing after a certain value of applied voltage and after that it increases exponentially right and here whatever i plotted this is for infrared led or ir led 
further this point from where the current starts rising that depends on the barrier potential of the led and we have seen the barrier potential for different color leds are different so if you plot the vi characteristics for different color led the trend will be same but the difference will be here from where the rise starts in the vi characteristics so this is for infrared next comes the red one next is orange yellow green blue white and finally this is for ultraviolet led from here you can see that the trend is same for all the colored leds only the difference lies over here at what value of the applied voltage the current starts increasing and that value depends on the barrier potential of the corresponding led further the forward voltage across an led varies between 1.2 volt to 3.2 volt now let us look into some of the figures of merit of led these leds are one of the best optoelectronic devices because they are more energy efficient what is the meaning of this energy efficient energy efficient means what is the fraction of the input that is being converted into output and in case of led a large fraction of input energy is being converted into output energy and hence the efficiency is very high as compared to the conventional lights further the leds are eco friendly in our conventional bulbs they used to produce a large amount of heat but the heat produced in case of led is very very less as compared to the heat produced in case of an conventional light further they can be made extremely small and lightweight you might have seen these types of lights which you are using in different occasions the size is very small and the weight is also very light coming to the life span of a light source the leds have much longer life as compared to the conventional light source thus the led bulbs they last for a long time as compared to our conventional light source the leds they operate at very low voltage that is approximately around 1.2 to 3.6 volt and the current through the led is also very low that is 10 to 30 milliampere and if current and voltage both are less then the power consumption always p is equals to v into i so if voltage is less current is less then the, obviously the power consumption is also very less and that's what the efficiency is more the response time of the led is very small that is it can be switched on or off at very fast speed that is about 1 nanosecond what is the meaning of this response time response time means when we are switching on after how much time the light will glow that tells us the response time earlier if you remember the tube lights that used to take lot of time to glow right once you switch on after half a minute or one minute it will glow but now it is the led bars which are coming as soon as you switch on the light the light will glow that means the response time is very less coming to infrared leds they are useful for remote controls and burglar alarm systems so these are some of the figures of merit or advantages of led over conventional lights for which nowadays everywhere the leds are replacing the conventional lights today we'll stop here in the next class we will discuss about laser source thank you all if you like the content of the video please press the like button and share the link with your friends further don't forget to subscribe the channel if you subscribe it then you'll be getting the notification whenever i am uploading a new video